I'm Peter Heimarsh and I'm Professor of Paediatric Endocrinology at the Institute of Child Health and responsible for delivering diabetes services for children and young people in North Central London. One of the main aims we're trying to achieve here is better access to information, to advice for families and children and young people with diabetes because we know that is likely to improve long-term control of diabetes. Capturing data to make decisions in diabetes is extremely important. We're relying on information that is recorded onto their sugar meters, which can be used to check their blood sugars at any time of the day. That information is either held in the meter, in a memory, or it may be written down in books, pieces of paper that people remember. It's quite easy in, in this sort of situation not to have the information that you actually need to make any formal decision. Peter had a vision that giving the kids access to their own blood sugar metrics would actually make them more interested in controlling their own disease. What he didn't know was how to make that vision a reality. So we began to talk to him about two years ago about ways in which we in Capgemini could help him make that happen. What you need in sometimes in these projects is a facilitated day to try and really tease out the issues. And with Capgemini, we got that organised with all the stakeholders. We call it an ASC, an Accelerated Solutions Environment in Capgemini, uh, where we brought, we brought social workers, teachers, the kids, the families, the um, Peter's Clinic, uh, and some technology organisations together for one day. And we developed answers to those questions, and we worked out a way of all those organisations and individuals working more closely together to provide the right kind of care and the right kind of support for the children. It was a breakthrough for Peter in, in getting a number of people to understand how to make the vision he had a reality. As a result of the working with Capgemini, what we've done now is just to take the information direct from the meter, download it, display it in a visual way from which we can now make decisions jointly with the families or the children about how to alter things and then go back and check what our intervention has done over a period of time, three days or a week. You're not having to wait for three months for your traditional clinic appointment. Well this technology can be applied to anything which can be digitalized. It's blood pressure, it might be breathing tests. Executing that, measuring it and showing that actually it made a difference. That's where not only Capgemini were useful for providing the infrastructure and the technology to assist us in doing that, but then also thinking around that a bit more as to how might you go about evaluating this kind of um, intervention. The easy bit was to actually switch the technology on and make it work. Uh, the complex bit was around getting the kids to use it, was around getting them motivated to do it and getting them incentivized to use it on a regular basis. What we got back was a sense of ownership of their condition. This is something about me and I'm feeling as though I've actually got more control over where I'm going with my condition. Camp Gemini's strength, I think, is that they've been prepared to listen very carefully to what we think is a problem. Uh, they're also quite helpful in telling us that we're wrong, uh, which is great as well, because they're seeing things from a quite a different perspective. We've learned an awful lot by watching and thinking about how business methodology can be applied in the management of patients. So it's been actually quite a, an interesting interaction between the two disciplines. If all we did in this project was to stop one person having renal dialysis and transplantation, then we're saving somewhere in the region of a quarter of a million pounds per year for that individual.